Hey, this is going to be the second time around trying to record this. Uh, I'm having problems with my iPad. I'm Ken, Kenneth, the Turbo Knitter uh, podcast. This is episode 21. Today is June the 5th, 2014. Uh, as bad as I hate to, guys, I'm going to have to try to rush through this because Randall's at work and he's got his laptop with him today. So I am going to use the iPad and I've deleted some stuff to try to free up some storage space on this thing. So you can find me on YouTube, of course. This is the only place that I upload uh, videos. I do not uh, upload videos to iTunes, even though I use iTunes and I listen to podcasts there. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry as the Turbo Knitter 64. If you're not a member of the group, please join. I uh, think you'll enjoy what's going on over there. Uh, I'm about to do a knit along this month. So come on and join. And for the ones that have joined here recently, thank you and welcome aboard. I hope you continue to enjoy what you're seeing. Uh, for all the ones that's been with me from the get go, two thumbs up. Thank you. And we'll keep it going. Enjoying it. Uh, works in progress. The Lotus Shawl. Uh, and I had it out and I put it back and I did I got a good bit of work done on this I finished the next to the last chart the other day I will start the last chart on this thing today so hopefully by the next podcast this will be completo which will up to right now be one of the most proudest projects that I've done bar none uh, this is a tough knit you really, really have to pay attention to what you're doing. This is the good side. Okay. And up here, you'll see from about right here to there is what I've got done. And it looks like there is a spot or something on my yarn there. But anyway, uh, yeah, this has been a slow progress, but I cannot wait, wait, uh, wait to get this thing blocked out. So hopefully next time you see the Turbo Knitters podcast that the Turbo Knitter himself will be have completed the Lotus and I will never say never, but it would be a long time before I knit another Lotus. It's tough. It's, uh, it will test your patience. Uh, another thing that I am knitting is the Bone Yard Shawl by Stephen West. On the Lotus Shawl, I am knitting it with Malabrigo. Cadium, I think, is the color. Uh, on US 4s. The Bone Yard I'm knitting on US 7s even though the pattern called for an 8. I'm knitting the Lotus Shawl and I cannot keep these straight with my right hand. I started I learned to knit as a thrower but I get carpal tunnel activation too often and I have to change up my knitting so I've learned to continental knit and gotten pretty pretty good with it I'm knitting this continental style because the majority of it is knit and continental knitting yarn down it makes me think of Kim and Sam yarn down <sighs> but my big self don't need to be bending over like that all right this is a fun knit. Uh, I was inspired from other podcasters that have knitted this recently. From watching your podcast, I wanted to do one, and I've got three skeins of the Simply Soft. Uh, I'm not for sure. I think it might be Pumpkin Colorway or something like that. But it is a fantastic knit, uh, and I have notes because if I had to name today's podcast, it's going to be uh, 
Christmas giveaway palooza. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. So, another work in progress that I am doing is the. Oh my goodness. You know what? Before I butcher this and make a complete out of myself. I am so going to look up this pattern because, 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 because I can. Just bear with me, bear with me, please. Okay, yes, Lisa, I have wrote down the wrong name on your pattern, <laughs> but I'm knitting, I'm knitting, I'm knitting, I'm knitting Lisa Tomko on the Knit 2 podcast, her and Haley. Lisa is a designer also and have designed a beautiful pair of socks. This is the pattern. It's the kitten poker socks. And what I'm laughing about, I wrote down knitting, knitting. I'm just a knitting. But anyway, this is a fantastic pattern. It's a paid for pattern that she has. And you can find it up under the kitten poker socks by Lisa Tomko or up under Sparkle Punk Creations on Ravelry. Check this pattern out. Um, it's a fantastic knit. Now, let me explain what I've done. I have a bad habit of starting out knitting <coughs> on patterns, and I glance at the pattern, and it's like, oh, I can knit that. And I just take my happy self right on and do my thing. And as I was doing my thing, I seen the chart that's in the pattern for the cable design, and it's like, wow, Kenneth. On on the design on her design, the instep, the top part of the sock, has the design. The back part is stockinette, right in here, stockinette on the pattern. Now I just went ahead and put it the pattern all all the way down to the heel, and I like it. And I'm going to do another one just like it. And I love the heel gusset. It's been a long time, a very long time, since I've done a top-down sock and actually have done a gusset. Because there for a while, it's like <laughs> I was having problems get, leaving holes in my socks doing gusset. So I found a much better way to do heels. But let me say this. If you want a perfect fit, I think there's no better fit, or not for me anyway, than a gusset. I'm going to do a lot more probably of these and doing cuff down gussets because I've never really cared for Kitchener. And I know there's a lot of podcasters and knitters out there to, that does not like to Kitchener. And you don't have to Kitchener. You can actually do a three needle bind off that will look just as great, but it leaves a ridge on the inside, and I don't like that. So I don't do a three needle bind off on a sock. I have done them and did not like them. I love this, it is a perfect fit. Check that pattern out. So guys, go check her out. Get this pattern, you will enjoy it. And you'll hear more about this pattern further on in the podcast, but let me carry on. Uh, that's my hoe for the week. I'll finish the other one uh, next few days. So, I think that's everything. I, I did want to show this. This was a completed project that I showed on the last podcast. But this thing was huge. And it still is huge. And I knit it to pattern, to the needles that were said, 
but I would definitely go down two needle size to knit this hat. And it's a Stephen West. I think it's the Dustlin hat. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that, but look at the designs. This Cascade 220 yarn is absolutely out of this world. I love this colorway. It's Heather, I believe. Uh, da, da, da. But I would try it on. But I definitely do not want to take my bandana off. Be scared uh, out of everybody. But anyway, I just wanted to show the pattern. Oh, that shows up great. That's fantastic. That's good. Yeah. Soft, soft, soft. So, yeah. Very happy with that hat right there. So I think that's all my knitting. Uh, I'm going into the giveaways real quick. I'm at 10 minutes and 53 seconds on giveaway number uno. Number one uh, was the March and April. And here it is, June, that I'm giving this giveaway. And I will apologize again for this, but let me say this. And just this time of the year has not been easy with me since I've lost my mother and uh, it's like I have seasonal depression and will not go into that I'm fine now I thank everybody for their kind words their encouragement hey I am back on the road happy knitting to everybody but that's why everything has just been just about come to a complete halt so uh, yeah that was very personal part of information in my life that I share with you guys and it's not something that I'm afraid to talk about it is something that's very real in my life so yeah I'm back and glad to be back and just wanted to say thank you to everyone and that I'm sorry that everything is late now what I did is because Randall not having his computer here with me to use today I'm using my iPad, so what I went and I wrote down all the names here of all the people that participated, and there were some fantastic projects that were made in the uh, March and April giveaway. I wish that the two words thank you was sufficient to really express what I feel in here, in my heart, but also in my soul. For people that is very good natured and very giving of themselves to others for whatever reason, if it's for something, it's just giving somebody something because you wanna be nice. If it's giving something because there are those that are in need, there are homeless. When you start talking of needs and people that are needing things, the sky is the limit. So there are people out there that's always going to need encouragement. And the knitting community is, and when I say knitting community, do not think that I'm just thinking of knitting, crocheting, fiber, the whole community, sewing, uh, crafting is a very giving community. And I'm glad to say that I am a part of it. And every one of you really, really, absolutely made me proud of doing this podcast and putting it out there for everyone to see. You're doing fantastic work, great knitting, great crocheting, beautiful spinning. So if you haven't checked that thread out, it is locked now, but you can go back and look at the pictures and a lot of the work that these men and ladies have done to make somebody else's day just a little bit more beautiful than what it already is. So I got a number generator and it was one through 36. And the winner is living for the number four fishing, living for fishing. So congratulations, living for fishing. I will be getting in contact with you and you are winning the Knitter's Pride interchangeable set two skeins of yarn of your choice and i will get with you on that and a pattern not to exceed ten dollars that is a fantastic giveaway uh, on the on the needles i do not have them here with me and i cannot pause this thing uh 
it's a great set of needles and I'm not giving the ones that I had problems with it's another set that is good to go and you're going to enjoy those so get in contact with me so I can get in, we can discuss this and we'll work it out this coming up Monday hopefully is going to be the day that I'm going to post and get a lot of things in the mail and it'll it's a day that I have off from work and actually will be able to take care of of all this right off the bat so it's not going to be sitting there lingering so i will get in touch with you if you haven't gotten in touch with me after seeing the podcast all right giveaway number two was may's finished objects uh, and it was one through 44 i believe it is and my M Y I Destiny, M Y, my I Destiny. I love these names <laughs> that people comes up with. I really like that. My I Destiny. Uh, congratulations for winning. And what will you be winning? It's going to be a surprise. So if you will get me your address, I will send you your prize. And in this giveaway, I asked you to tell me what your favorite colors were. I think it was maybe some of your favorite yarns or patterns or whatever. So somewhere along that line on something on your post, it will be getting something shipped to you. So congratulations. Okay, let's go to giveaway number three. I'm at 1647. I've got to make this quick. It was the Turkish spindle that I'm giving away that I bought. This is all the way from England. It's wonderful. Uh, I wish I would have weighed this before the podcast, but too late now. It's a good it's a good spindle, and it spins. Uh, it just did not fit me. Uh, I will say uh, on the other Turkish spindle. When I go down like this, it it doesn't shake. But that there is extremely loose. But it spins. And I have spun yarn with this. Uh, and I think you will enjoy it. So, the lucky winner, I had four people that requested this from the last podcast. And I so with it just being four, I wish I had four of these that I could send. I would. I promise. I'd send every one of you one. But there can only be one winner because I only have one spindle. So, Owl's Flight, O-W-L-S-F-L-I-G-H-T. It's like I've got a huge speech impediment today. You are the lucky winner of this. Get in contact with me, and I will try to be getting in contact with you so I can ship this to you on Monday. It will be on its way to you, and happy spinning. I think you'll enjoy it. So congratulations. Okay. Finally, on the last giveaway is the sock pattern. Because, and I'll tell you why I was really wanted to do this. Because Haley on the Knit 2 podcast so graciously made it possible for me to knit this, uh, the kitten poker socks by Lisa Tomiko the her fellow host on the knit to podcast made it possible for me so and I love to pay it forward so I, that's exactly what I'm going to do and I was going to pull one name out and send this pattern to so there were three people that requested this pattern, and yay, today is your lucky day. Crazy Knitting Fool, ding, 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 you won a free pattern of the, let me get here, ta-da, check this out, <laughs> should have been a school teacher, right, never, uh, but anyway, hats off to all teachers. This is what you're going to win, this pattern, and it is awesome. It is an easy pattern to do. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, 
so yeah just let me know no actually I think Kenneth this will be gifted to you so this will be coming to you I will be gifting this to you another person that's going to win this is Manda Jane M-A-N-D-A dash J-A-N-A Manda Jane you've won the kitten poker sock pattern I will be gifting this to you can't wait to see your guys socks uh, and the last one but not the least nitpick 56 this pattern will be gifted to you probably tomorrow if I can get to it this afternoon I will get it right on over to you so you can whip that yarn out and get this sock on the needles it's a fantastic knit love this cabling effect and when you see how it's done yeah you're going to enjoy it but unless you want this all the way around read the pattern don't do like Kenneth did read the pattern okay that's all my giveaways I think I've covered everything so let's look we can just about get to the end of this and wrap this up on the June I have talked with Lisa and we've communicated via email on Ravelry on this pattern right here for the month of June this is going this pattern alone is going to be the knit alone for June. I've never done since I've been podcasting, I haven't done a knit alone. This is going to be a knit alone. If you've already started it, it still counts. Uh, it's like here we are already in June. You've got plenty of time to get this sock made. This it has to be the complete, not like me today, just up here showing one. But to be eligible for the prize, you have to complete the pattern, uh, both socks. So Lisa has so generously given a coupon code, a dollar off of the pattern for the month of June. And I think she said it would, the coupon code was going to be good up until July the 31st. Uh, the knit along for the prize will be just for the month of June. So get out and get this pattern and let's be some kitten poker socks knitting fools. How about that? For the month of June, this is going to be it. I can't wait to see everyone's socks. Uh, the coupon code is K poker P O K E R. TK14. And I'll put this in the descriptions if I can from my iPad. K Poker. K P O K E R. TK14. That's the coupon code. So, okay, guys. I know I have rushed this podcast. I'm at 23 minutes. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you to everyone for being a participant of the podcast i love every one of you guys i really do you do fantastic work there's been tremendous knitting for people and sharing love and compassion to everyone so i tilt my hat to everybody you guys you absolutely rock so with that being said i'm going to call it adios here Happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy spinning. Two thumbs up to all of you guys. Continue to do your knitting for someone else. Always knit for yourself. Sure, but always, always pass something on to someone else that is not as fortunate as you are. And I promise you, you will be blessed. So God bless you all, and until next time, ciao.